Rose lights, camera action when I step into the limelight Easily adapted to the high life Dress to impress like it's prime night And when you live in top shelf, you know you gotta set the bar high Had the same dreams since we was kids Big tips, big cars, and even bigger cribs Never thought that it would happen just the way it did Fast forward that now, it's just the way we live That's good food and drinks, my mood makes you think that this life's made Hey, it's so good to see you. If you're new here, my name is Richard, and today I wanna to show you a day in the life of an online coach, because that's essentially what I do. I am a high performance coach, and in the business realm, I also help other entrepreneurs start their own coaching businesses on YouTube. And over the past couple of months, I've been seeing a lot of flash, a lot of fluff on the internet. People flashing Lamborghinis, private jets, people saying entrepreneurship life is this and that and also a lot of ads talking about starting a coaching, consulting, expert-based business. And I just wanna show you under the hood completely, no fluff, what a day actually looks like because it truly is a lifestyle that I've come to love and enjoy and also impacting other people. So today's gonna be unusually busy. I'm gonna put my entire schedule right there. It's about 4.15 in the morning right now. I'm gonna jump into my daily quiet time devotional and then we're gonna head out to the gym. So come on, let's get this day started. Okay. The room starts to shake, so smooth if you blink, you might just miss the whole thing. It's just a different way to more than the highlight. So many different things. Father God, I want to thank you so much for giving me this day. Through the YouTube videos I would film, through the coaching calls that I would take, Lord, through the consultations, the sales calls that I would make, Lord. Just through every single action today, God, I pray that you would use me as a vehicle to serve and bless others, God. I pray for maximum impact today. Uh, you would just watch over the, the viewer on the other side of my videos. And God, I just thank you for this day. I pray you bless it. I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. You know that I'm a keep it cool. With you I feel like breaking rules only yet. Shoot, they're not picking up. I want to make sure my gym barbell brigade is actually open at 5 p.m. You know what? Let's take a shot. It says on the website they're open. Let's go. Okay, so kind of a tricky situation. Barbell Brigade is a private gym and because of COVID regulations, they've been closing open and closing. And yesterday they said that they were open at 5 a.m. and all of a sudden there is a sign that says that they're closed. This is okay, I'm in Hollywood. I drove only 15 minutes to get here, but looks like the gym might be closed today, <laughs> this morning. This is my only time slot to train. Let's get back home. All right, 15 minutes later, made it back home. We're still 5 a.m., what is it? 5.40 a.m. in the morning. And just because we don't have a gym, that does not mean we can't have a good workout. Remember, my mentors always tell me there's never a lack of resources, only a lack of resourcefulness. So we're gonna get a little resourceful right now. I got a pull-up bar right over there, and today was supposed to be a pull workout at the gym, so we're gonna do a lot of back work, bicep work today. Let's have a good workout. Cool, but I don't know you. Wrote a flower and I'm up the potion. Give me superpowers and I won't stop. To the bank roll on super massive. Big bank for the space chatter. Way up in a squad NASA. Couple filled with the dark magic. Subtle flex when I run a race. Tell these rap niggas eat my dust. Lil Batty off the cellular. Talking life and I will set it up. I'm a sharp shooter. Yeah, I will Smith. Call me Prince Park. Let me freshen up. Bay boy on a level up. Way up near the nebulas. Uh, I'm never copping a chain. Cause I see it all through the frames And I leave it all on the page It's feeling like they want me locked in a cage They want us all in the fake shit But I'ma go all the way A with it Cause I don't feel all the way safe here. Nah, spray the champagne shower up in the air Stun the goggles, what the fuck is the flu? Untamed and she wide off the goose Ghost ride, bitch, I come through the roof Fuck 12 cause they all on my tail Hella wild and I break all the rules Chill, chill, bro, you way out of line Yeah, I know it's a mood So, just had an incredible, incredible workout And it's a little past 6 a.m. You see the sunrise is starting to come up And I actually wanna answer your question Of what exactly is online coaching right because you think about coaching in the most traditional sense like being on a sports team if you're in college or high school and you have a coach who's there to lead your practices or maybe a coach like a, a mentor who comes in person but one thing I want to clarify with being online is especially during this time when everyone has to stay home during this lockdown online coaching is becoming more and more prevalent and it's not just limited to sports you see any kind of coaching that you can think of essentially an information that can help other people whether that's fitness coaching whether that's business coaching maybe I even know people that used to struggle with acne that coach other people on skincare heck you want to coach people on a certain type of jumping rope there's yoga instructors jump rope instructors essentially if you have some kind of information that you know can bring value to another person in the world and 
if you think about it, if it's brought value to you, it's gonna bring value to thousands of other people. You can turn that into an information product. And for myself, when I was in university, I studied and I loved high performance productivity. I was always reading personal development, reading different ways I could master more of my time. And so during my first year graduating out of UCLA, I launched a productivity coaching program. And this coaching program, I've been able to help over 650 people over the past eight months. And from an income perspective, I've been really fortunate to have made over $500,000 while doing so. And so online coaching truly is incredible because it's scalable. It's not one-on-one, -on -one, it's one to 10, one to 100, because you can sell a course, you can sell some kind of product that is scalable. That's essentially what online coaching is. I truly believe it's one of the greatest innovations of our day and age for kickstarting a career. And it's truly changed my life as well as so many others. So I actually gotta go get a cold shower right now, clean up before I go ahead and get started on the workday. Let's go. I swear, cold showers is the worst part of my day, but I tell myself that I can handle the hardest thing first thing in the morning. What else can I handle? Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Woo! So it is 6.40 a.m. in the morning and I'm just about to get started on my deep work. And I actually wanna tell you about what the schedule typically looks like for an online coach. And the way that I see it is it's broken down into the three C's of a coach. I call these coaching, content creation, and closing. And the difference between these three things is actually pretty simple. First and foremost, if you're an online coach, you have clients. You coach them a couple times every single week. And the most important thing is impact, making sure your clients get results. As a high performance coach, I need to make sure all of my clients are getting amazing, amazing transformations, getting back more time for their friends and family. And then also I coach people on how to build their own coaching businesses on YouTube. I need to make sure that they are succeeding at building profitable businesses. The second component is content creation. Because in order to bring people into your world, you need some way to get new customers, get new clients. And the way that I do this is through social media, specifically YouTube, because it's such a powerful way to build a relationship with your audience, the same way that you might be watching my video right now. And that's the way that you grow your business through content creation. And the third C is closing. And closing is essentially having consultations. In order to grow your business, you need to speak with your potential customers. You need to see if they're a good fit, if you can actually help them, if you can actually change their life. And if that's the case, then they'd be more than happy to pay you for your services. So closing is actually how you drive revenue in the business. The way that I split up my day is in the mornings, I typically do all my deep work. That's working on the business. And then later on in the day, I take all my calls, coaching calls as well as consultations. So right now, we're gonna get into deep work. Let's have a great day. All right, so it is 8.30 a.m., the sun is up already, and I'm getting ready for five calls back to back to back. Some coaching, some consultation calls, where I'm gonna see if I'm gonna actually be able to coach and, and help these individuals. Um, but before we jump into this five hour period, I gotta eat something because I haven't had any food since my workout. So let's grab breakfast right now, and we're gonna jump into these calls. Breakfast is the same exact thing that I always eat. Three hard boiled eggs with some form of micronutrients that I'm getting from strawberries and raspberries today. Part of the food in my mouth. Super light, doesn't give me any kind of food coma. It's very low carb and it curbs my hunger because very high protein on the egg, which means I'm steady and focused all the way through until early afternoon. Let's finish this up. I gotta take some calls. Hey, Jimmy, how's it going, brother? Yeah, all right. What's going on, man? Good to see you. It's a pleasure to actually meet you. It seems like we're uh, in matching outfits today, both white hoodies. Yeah. Hey, what is going on, Sophia? Good to see you. The intent of today's call is very simple. You already know that I have the High Performance Influencer Program and I wanna see if we would be a good fit that I could actually help you in the program. All right, so I have one more consultation call that I'm gonna be taking for a total of five calls. One more, my voice is getting a little shot, but come on. Let's get this call finished. Hey, hey, Sam, how you doing, brother? How you doing, Richard? How's life? Hey, life is good, man. Haven't seen you in a, seen you in a minute. It's been a couple months. How I can serve you in helping you scale your business? I know you're currently trying to launch a fitness, or or you've been launching, you've been growing a fitness business, and really, I just want to see how I can help. 
All right, finished up five consulting calls. Today was a pretty good day. Typically on these consultation calls, it's very, very simple. It's not like a hard sales call. A lot of people think, oh, if you're a salesperson, you have to be slimy or sleazy. No, if you're a coach, the whole purpose of a consultation call is really just to see if you can help them. And with my business, because right now I'm helping entrepreneurs, number one, be more high performance, and also see if I can help them build their own course or coaching program and grow it through a YouTube channel, the whole time I'm just really thinking of how I can help them and how I can serve them. And it really shifts your mindset because you have to understand sales Sales is not being scammy or sleazy unless you're selling something unethical. If you're selling a product that actually changes people's livelihoods, change their businesses, then a sales all of a sudden is just opening your eyes to how you can change the other person's life. And I'm really grateful that today out of the five consultations I had, four of them were a really good fit for the program. Um, we have a pretty good sales day, $10,000 in sales today. So I got a coaching call right after this. So content creation, that's filming with you today, check. Closings, number two, sales are all done for the day. And then finally I have a coaching call in the afternoon, but it is 1.30 p.m. right now, so we're gonna grab a little late lunch and then get ready for this coaching call. All right, so we are having a little bit of a lunch right here. Very, very normal salad. Got my salad greens, my chicken breast, strawberries and blueberries, also super, super light because I got a coaching call in the afternoon. If I eat too much food, then my brain gets a little cloggy and I can't think that well. So I'm transitioning over to this new office area right here. This is the second desk that I work with. If I'm working at one desk, I like to eat at the other to keep things clean. So I'm gonna have a little meal here and then we're gonna jump back and get ready for a coaching call. All right, getting ready for my coaching call. I always like to take coaching calls standing. It allows for me to have a little bit more energy and given I'm a high performance coach, I gotta bring the fire for all my coaching clients. So we're gonna get started in just a couple more minutes. I believe two minutes and then we're live. Let's have a good call. Father God, Lord, I thank you for this privilege, this opportunity to serve my coaching clients today. God, I pray that this information will just go and impact them, that they take it and they impact other people, God. Ultimately, it's all for your glory. I pray all these things in Jesus' name, amen. What is going on, guys? Welcome to this Weekly coaching call. We are coming close to the end of the year and I'm so excited to see all you guys here. Welcome, Leah. I want to know what was an exciting win from the past seven days. What's one thing I can celebrate with you? Something that you can celebrate yourself. Whenever you're trying to get people to see your perspective, you have to be able to approach it from the standpoint of, look, I'm only telling you this information because I love you and I'm only going to bring this up because if I don't, if I don't tell you this, I don't know who else is and I want for you to continue to live a great life. If you approach it from that perspective, it's very, very difficult for someone to respond in a negative way unless you know, in terms of just a character flaw, they're, they're not willing to be receptive, right? All right, finish up a coaching call for the week. Fantastic group, about one hour long call. And man, I'm getting pretty tired. My voice is getting kind of shot right now. It's 3.35 right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my work with a couple emails, communication with the team. Gotta make sure that everyone on my team is taken care of and that we're providing the most support to our coaching clients. So I'm gonna be wrapping up for probably another hour of work or so, and then we gotta head out to dinner. So let's wrap up on the day here. All right, so it is 4.45 in the early evening and I'm wrapping up on the workday here. And overall today was a really good day. Sales wise, we generated a little bit over $10,000 in sales. I'll put a little screenshot right there. That's definitely a higher day for me because my business is averaging as of right now, 60 to $70,000 a month. So good sales day, but never let your good sales days get you too cocky. Don't let your low sales days get you too low. You just gotta stay focused and emotionally regulate. So grateful for today, but not getting arrogant or proud of it, just thankful. And overall, I gotta say this coaching lifestyle really is one that I really enjoy. Number one, I'm selling programs that truly change people's lives. They get people more productive and also helping entrepreneurs build out their own courses and coaching programs to create financial freedom for themselves while impacting hundreds if not thousands of people. If I can help you, if I can help other people do that, man, that's a good life for me to be able to serve these people. Because at the end of the day, coaching is all about impact. And you saw it all, I didn't hide anything. You saw me take my consultation, my sales calls. You saw me take my coaching calls. You saw me make content. Heck, I'm making content by speaking with you on this video right now. And look, if this is a lifestyle that you're particularly interested in, maybe you have a coach or coaching program already, or maybe you're interested in building one up. In my first year out of graduation from UCLA, when I launched my first program, I was able to make over half a million dollars, $500,000 in less than eight months through a couple strategies that I'd use with YouTube. And if you wanna learn exactly these, I want you to click the first link down below because that's gonna take you over to a free training called the three steps I took to making over $500,000 in less than eight months 
on YouTube with my coaching program. Watch the video and when you get to the end, you can actually have an opportunity to book a call and apply and see if you could be a good fit to work directly with me. Click the link down below if that's something that interests you in building that kind of business. And remember, if you got value from this video, I wanna remind you it's completely free for you. So copy the link, text it to someone else. That's the price you pay for watching this video. Make sure you tag me on Instagram, I'll put it right there. I cannot wait to see you next time. Remember, how you do one thing is how you do everything. See you next time. Consulting calls. Hi, you've reached Barbara Brigade Jim. Sorry we cannot get the phone right. Shoot. Whew. Oh, let's try that one more time. Computer screen first.